I thought that uh, you know early we had trouble uh, shooting the ball. You know, I think that the similar to Louisville, Brandon just picked it up in the first half and made those threes uh, to get us into the game. And at, at this point in time, he's the guy that we got. We don't have a lot of options shooting it. We tried to play the three guards together to get another shooter in the game. It hurts us defensively. But, you know, when you're not scoring, you've got to try to find a way to score. Uh, but Trevor, you know, the freshmen are going to make mistakes. That's why they don't play here. You know, he left to Patrick twice, and Jeremy left him twice. Two freshmen, 12 points. We can't afford that. You know, they just didn't make the right read in the defensive situation. And you can't leave a guy like that open. And uh, the first play of the game, the Rock didn't get up. He was the one guy we wanted to concentrate on because we knew Wright was coming off not playing. Sometimes you're going to be a little off in that situation. Uh, but, uh, you know, we knew Kilpatrick from coming off 36-point game. We wanted to make sure we knew where he was and, and rocked it, and then the two freshmen did not. You know, they just did not recognize where they were. Uh, the, the game really, when you don't shoot the ball well, you're going to struggle. It's the bottom line. Uh, when you're playing against zones, when people play against us and don't shoot, shoot it well, they don't. They usually don't beat us. Uh, we're struggling to shoot the ball. Uh, Brandon saved us, I think, at Louisville. But at the end of the game at Louisville, they turned it over three straight times. Uh, you know, in this game, the end of the game, they didn't get a good shot uh, two or three times, and Brandon and Michael. Scored 11 straight points, uh, and somebody tipped it in. <laughs> CJ's claiming it's his. <laughs> he, he might have been the closest guy to the tip, but I don't think he got any part of it. But uh, without those two things happening, we're 0-2, and everybody's going, Syracuse is in trouble. And that's what I'm saying, because we should have lost both these games. That's why Rick was so upset the other day. There was almost no way in, on earth that Louisville should have lost that game set. And there was less of a chance for Cincinnati to lose this game that Saturday. They had this. The game was over. The game was completely over. Brandon has to make those two. Mike has to make them on the baseline, on the lane, and then he's got to make the three. <coughs> which he's shooting from not a very good percentage of. But he believes he can make them, and that's why we let him take those shots. He, he believes himself, and that's a, that's a great thing. You know, if I, I can't cook, but if I believed in my cooking, <laughs> like Michael Carter Williams does, I would win the show. Iron Chefs, I'd win. <laughs> I can't boil water. <laughs> But these guys have made plays in the games we've had. And uh, even the game we lost, Temple, we made some great plays at the end. We just missed a couple shots in that game. But uh, they fight it. When they're not playing well, they keep fighting it. And, you know, we easily, if we weren't, a, if they weren't battlers, we'd easily uh, have had two, maybe three losses in the conference. So, you know, we've got to get better. Our centers had two points today. Three, this was their first really bad game. This was the first game where they, they've been averaging almost 10 and 10, which we take. If they can do that, we can, we can win. Today was their first day where they struggled, and they struggled a little bit on defense. By gives us the best chance on defense. Uh, day one's probably our best offensive player, but he's the worst defensive center. Uh, Brock's kind of in the middle of those. When he plays, he's probably our best center. <clears throat> when, he stand, when he watches, he's not very good. But those guys got to get better. Um, you know, Trevor and Jeremy got to keep working, get better. And, uh, you know, we've got to get a little better against zones. No question about that. We got to get better. And I think we'll, people don't like to play zone and don't play it much, but they're going to like to play it. They're going to be trying to play it against us, I think. So we, we have to get better. All right, I think I answered everything. Kind of <laughs>
Jim, this is the second game in a row where your guys did come up with big plays down the stretch. Can one game lead to another in situations like that? I think they made good plays down the stretch. We made them. You know, we made them all year. Even against Temple, we made good plays. We just missed the shot. Brand had a wide open three. You know, we had really. CJ had a really good opportunity. He stepped out of bounds. I mean, we, we, we we're making plays at the end of games, but you can't keep being in those situations. There's nobody that makes those plays all the time. We miss one of those shots. You know what? Jim, you coached a lot of really competitive guys who hate to lose. You think they're, you know, we're really confident guys. Where, where do you think Michael Carter wins? Well, he, he wants to win. He plays to win. And he, he, he's trying to win. CJ, you know, is trying to win. But, uh, you know, Brandon's getting better. I think that we still can't get through to him. I knew when he went to the foul line, I, I could read his mind. I'm going to miss this one. And great players going to the line thing. I'm going to make this one. This is easy, too. He's not thinking that way. He's got to think that way. He's got to want to go to the line and shoot that ball. Because we're going to need him to do that. And he's got to think that way. He finally thought that way on his jump shot. He took those two jump shots. He took it in there. He, we had to have those. The game is resting on those shots. And he made them. He can do it. He's proven over and over again he can do it. So he's got to take it to another level. I believe he's the first round pick in the NBA draft. A, a, a tremendous guard. A tremendous guard, you know, in our system, the way we play, he averages 18, 20 points a game, six, seven assists, five, six assists. That's what he can do. He can do that. He's got to do that. We're challenged offensively. Our guards have got to play really good in CJ, and then we're hoping the other guys can contribute. Jeremy got 10 last game, 10 the other game. Um, you know, tonight he's not quite as good, but, you know, he'll get something. But um, our guards have got to play great. That's, that's the bottom line for this team. How much do you think Michael's wrist was bothering him, and how do you think he played through it? I never asked him. No asshole. I mean, he never said he needed to come out. So, Jim, if Mike shoots the way you cook. Are you okay when he comes off that screen the top of the three and, and takes that three-pointer? If we can't win any other way, yeah, I'm okay. If we had a couple other guys that were out there that he could get in the lane and pass them the ball, for them to shoot it, I'd probably rather have that. But I don't see that. Were you glad to see Jeremy attack the rim there late? Not really. It was a bad play. What would you have rather seen there? Anything. <laughs> Such as? Oh, it starts with a P. Got it? <laughs> I have to spell the whole word. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> to <help>. Anybody. <laughs> Anybody else? But at least he attacked the best. I think he got their center in position to help us. <laughs> Coach, so what do you make of this team then? Are you pleased that they're making I think the I already said everything. <laughs> <laughs> this team's got to get better. That's about it. Like a lot of teams. But the, 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 the problem with being one of 18 teams, which I think we probably are, I'm not sure which we're in that group. You lose in the second round of the NCAA tournament, easy. Easy, because you're going to play one of those other teams. And we don't want to be there, and if we don't get better, that's what's going to happen. So we have to get better, which that's fine. You know, this isn't like last year. We were better. We didn't have to, we didn't have to get better. This team can get better and will get better, I think, because these freshmen are playing. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to start learning. Our big guys are going to going to get better, and uh, you know, Michael's going to get better. He's, he's a good player, he's going to get better. So, you know, I, I think we can get better, but we we're, we need to get better. That's that's what my absolute belief in, and uh, last year you never heard me say that. I don't think I said that the whole year. If I did, it was a mistake. Jim, I know it doesn't matter, but out of curiosity, 
where you're ranked fourth today. Out of curiosity, where do you rank this club? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, I think the uh, the way I look at it, uh, I think there's probably as many as there's probably a good eight teams, ten teams that are in the top ten, and we could be anywhere. I, I wouldn't be upset. Um, and then there's ten other teams that would be any one of those ten, any one of those. Ten. And uh, you know, I mean, you watch all these teams play, and you like Louisville. You like if Duke has Kelly, they're the best team, I think. But I think certainly Louisville is close. I think that that uh, Michigan's very close. I think Indiana's getting there. Florida's really played well. We played pretty good. So, I mean, there's six easy right there. there Gonzaga's good. Butler's good. Uh, and then there's there, those are eight right there that are definitely up there. Kansas is up there. And I'll probably forget somebody that's, that's, that's right there. There's eight or ten right there. And then you got a list of Michigan States and Minnesotas and, you know, uh, uh, teams that are not much, not much behind those teams. San Diego State, BYU, uh, Wyoming, I mean, all those teams. There's 10 and 10, 10 really good, 10 just a little bit behind them. So, you know, that's the teams you're going to face in the NCAA tournament. There's just more. The top teams have gotten worse, and the bottom teams, the middle teams have moved up. I mean, I've, St. John's I was watching today before the game, I mean, they look great. You know, they, they, they beat Cincinnati at Cincinnati, St. John's. Then they lose at home by 20. I mean, that's because there's a lot of young players that, you know, every, on every team, and so your performances go up and down a little bit because of that. And uh, it's just that's the way basketball is, college basketball, and that's what it is. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to... Hard to figure out. We obviously could have lost these two, but Providence, I, I thought we really were fortunate to get out of there. And South Florida, I think we were a little bit lucky to get out of there. So we've only played six games. I think we had one game, we beat Rutgers, we played good, really good against Rutgers and beat them. And the rest of the games we played have been pretty much toss ups. And we've got harder games ahead of us than we have behind us. And that's all right. I mean, we'll learn from those games, hopefully, and try to keep getting better. We, we're, we need games and practices going ahead of us to, to get better. You know, that's that's the bottom line. We, we got I mean, I really, if Wright had been, been playing, I think he would have never had that kind of a shooting day today, and they would be. So, but we, when you miss a game, you're out a little bit, it takes you a little while to get your rhythm back, and he was just a little out of rhythm today. They're, they have a good team. They got scores. They got defense. They're very good defensively. And, uh, I wish they had start playing that zone. I don't like that. I don't want like people playing zone so much. <laughs> All right. Okay.